Welcome back to Frame Racket. I'm your host Jordan. Um, trying a new filter on my mic, so hopefully, dogs bark. Maybe it doesn't pick it up. But with that, there also might be times where I might cut out if I get too quiet. So if that happens, I apologize. But anyways, let's get right into it. We got, we got, we're gonna do playoff bracket breakdown. Today's Saturday, and the last games come out, or the last games are played tomorrow. So we're gonna go over every scenario that could happen and what to look out for. Uh, but first, we have to do the, the the daily news report. Breaking news: Joel B tweaked his left knee. He will be reevaluated Saturday. Um, Sean Marks to return as Nets GM next season. The Clippers sign Kai Jones and waive Josh Primo. Um, let's see, Donovan Klingon declares for the 2024 NBA draft. Um, Sixers will make Paul George top target in offseason. So it looks like the uh, Philadelphia 76ers hype on Paul George is real. And, um, you know, honestly, I'm kind of scared for the Clippers because me personally, if this doesn't work out, which I mean, honestly, from Paul George's perspective, I I am a Paul George fan. I'm a Kawhi fan. I also like Joel Embiid, like Tyrese. You know, I like good ball, but um, Paul George leaving the scenario he's at because they can't win to go play with Joel Embiid, who, as you can see, continues to stay injured. I want nothing but for Joel Embiid to have a healthy season because I think if he has a healthy th- if he has a healthy season, they have a very good chance of winning. Joel Embiid is a monster. But, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, Paul George, just do do what's best for you, PG. Do what's best for you. Um, Let's see. Jalen Noel Pissons signed deal for remainder of season. Cool. Okay. And then, hold on. I got to. Got to pull something up real quick because it's very interesting. Uh, yesterday, yeah, yesterday, Draymond Green had a zero points, 12 rebounds, and 11 assists on zero for zero shooting. Didn't shoot the ball one time. Fun fact, we lost the game. But the cool part about that, even though we did lose, is that. Draymond Green is the first player ever to have a double-double without attempting any shots. And he's only the fourth player ever to have a double-double with no points scored. Um, yeah, so that, that's pretty pretty sick, pretty sick stuff. I was hoping that this article would give me the other three guys, but I'm not seeing it. I don't know... I don't know who the other three guys are. I probably could have did the research, but, you know. Didn't. So, it is what it is. Anyways, Draymond Green. Shout out Draymond. Uh, really cool stat line. Um, Victor Wimanyama went crazy. First one, he had 17 points in three minutes. Uh, shout out Aaron Gordon for getting that dog out of Wimby. Because Aaron Gordon tried to bully him, and Wimby responded, man. Wimby responded, and you love to see it. You love to see it. Um, what else happened? Uh, I that's about it. Honestly, honestly, that's about it. Really, yeah. That that's. We're just gonna. I'm done with that. So, I'm gonna give you the. Okay, here's the issue I ran into. Actually, we'll go back through it. Here's your $1 bankroll, but I don't know if you'll be able to use a dollar because I'm going to get my dollar for today and I already placed a bet and I put 10 cents and I'm going to, I don't know what to call this. We're just going to call it a, a dinger, a, a home, we'll call it a home run. This is your home run bet in hopes that this hits, you could win $2,981.63 off of 10 cents. So here's what I put. I put Brooklyn Nets to beat the Philadelphia 76ers. My thought process. 
This bet was placed before doing any research, by the way. My thought process was that they would rest Joel Embiid, obviously. Um, maybe they rest their other guys because they're they're locked in. So Brooklyn Nets, maybe they play the game. Maybe they get a win. Maybe they get a cheeky win. Next one, Chicago Bulls, Knicks, same thing. Knicks have had injury troubles all season long. Jalen Brunson has been balling out. Give him a day of rest. Chicago Bulls, that game, they need it. Toronto Raptors versus the Miami Heat. I took the Raptors. Heat do not care about the regular season. Jimmy Butler will rest. Bam Adebayo will rest. That's my thought process. Again, I didn't do any research. Look at the standings. I just went with what I thought right in my cabeza. Um, next game, Wizards, Celtics. Celtics. I know that they're the number one seed. So, why risk it? Sit your five guys. Play your bench. Peyton Pritchard. Go crazy, but not too crazy. Because I need the Wizards to win. Uh, the Lakers versus the Pelicans. The Lakers are battling. So are the Pelicans. But, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm going with I'm going with LeBron. I picked the Lakers. Lakers beat the Pelicans. And then the Warriors versus the Jazz. Warriors are fighting. I don't think there's any way in the world that we're going to lose this game. I mean, I don't bet on Warriors Warriors at all. But this is also tense. It's like whatever. But my thought process is I don't think we're going to lose to the Jazz. If we do, we lose. But we have to win that game. So. I think we'll pull it out. So I picked the Warriors. And then the last one was the Suns versus the Timberwolves. Suns are also battling. I picked the Suns. Timberwolves can rest. Go rest your big fellas. Or big fella. Anthony Edwards, let him rest, you know? Um, So my 10 cent home run was Nets, Bulls, Raptors, Wizards, Lakers, Warriors, Suns. Again, it's 10 cents. Pay out. Basically three grand. So if it hits, you're welcome. If it doesn't, then send. Right? All right. So with that being said, um, go back to the NBA. Currently, at the time of this recording, I have 90 cents left because I just used 10 cents. But tomorrow, whenever we get our free dollar, if you want to just save your 90 cents or put it on like MLB or something today to maybe try to grow some more money, you could do that. But you could save your 90 cents, get your dollar for tomorrow, and here would be your official $1 play. But me personally, actually, fuck it. Screw it. My bad. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I cursed. My bad. But, anywho, we're just going to ride with the home run. Put the 90 cents on whatever you want, man. Put it on whatever you want, because we're going to be three grand richer. Uh, by the end of Sunday. Locking in. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop over to standings. So, um, as of right now, in this very moment, before Sunday's games, it's looking like the Western Conference standings are the OKC, I'm just going to go by order, from 1 to 15. Uh, actually, I'm just going to go from no, we'll go to one for whatever. Oh, it's OKC, Minnesota, the Nuggets, the Clippers, the Mavericks, the Pelicans, the Suns, the Lakers, the Kings, the Warriors at 10. That's your playoff that's your playoff picture. And then your bottom feeder teams are the Rockets, Jazz, uh, Grizzlies, Spurs, and the Trailblazers. Spurs and Trailblazers are tied right now for the worst team in the West. Um, and here's your, here's your, um, where did it go? Where's that? Okay, your Eastern Conference. Here we go. So we have the, I forgot to mute my phone. My bad. Um, Eastern Conference, again, 1 through 10, and then we'll do the 11, 15. Uh, Celtics, Bucks, Knicks, Cavs, Magic, Pacers, 76ers, Heat, Bulls, 
And at 10, the Hawks. Then, uh, Nets, Raptors, Hornets, Wizards, and the Pistons. Pistons are the worst team in the East right now with a 14 win season. The Wizards have a 15 win season. Uh, for the memes, I kind of hope that the. God, I'm sorry. For the memes, I kind of hope that the Pistons and Wizards. Um, I, anyway, my, my, my God. Okay. As of today, as of right now, the playoff bracket would be the Kings versus Warriors. Yeah. I don't know why I thought I messed up. The Kings versus the Warriors. Um, and then the Suns versus the Lakers. So, you know what? Let's make some predictions. Okay. So let's say Kings versus Warriors, Suns versus Lakers. Uh, just because I'm a biased Warriors fan, I'm gonna take the Warriors. Warriors beat the Kings. They go play the winner of the Suns versus Lakers. Then, then I would pick. Bro, Loki, give me the Lakers. I I'll take the Lakers. So it would be Warriors Lakers. Oh no, wait. The Lakers would win. So then it would be Warriors Suns. Okay. Um, so it's winner of nine and ten plays the loser of seven and eight. So the winner for the nine and ten for me would have been the Warriors. The loser for the seven and eight would have been the Suns. So it'd be Warriors Suns. Then let's say the Suns win. Suns win. And then it would be OKC versus the Suns. It would be Clippers versus the Mavericks. It would be Nuggets versus the Pelicans, and then it would be Timberwolves versus the Lakers. Okay, let's um, hop over to the other side. So right now, the nine seed is the Bulls. The ten seed are the Hawks. I would take the Bulls. Um, the Bulls win that game. Then they the 76ers versus the Heat. Okay, so here it is. Remember. I bet I did not check standings. So the Heat and the 76ers are going to be trying to keep their seating. Actually, I still don't know. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if, if they lose, if it affects their seating, because I don't know how close it is in the East. But let's just say that they're going to be trying. Okay, so they're definitely going to be trying in this game, though. It's the Heat versus the 76ers. If Joel Embiid plays... I'm taking the 76ers. If the Heat, I mean, if he doesn't play, I'm taking the Heat. So, would Joel Embiid play? I don't know. I'm just going to say probably. I'm going to say probably. Uh, Joel Embiid is injury prone, but I feel like he would have uh, some pride like inside of him where he's like, man, I, I have to play this game. I have to. Like, I can't sit out and let my team play without me. So, uh, even if he's just on the court, he gets so much attention. I think I'm going to take the 76ers. 76ers win that. That means that it would be the Bulls versus the Heat. And here, I'll take the Heat. So then, my Eastern matchup would be Celtics versus the... Uh, Celtics versus the Heat. Cavs versus the Magic. Knicks versus the Pacers and Bucks versus the. What did I say? Seventy Sixers. I'm my bad. I I just had a brain fart. <laughs> the Bucks versus Seventy Sixers. These Louise. Okay. So that would be your playoff picture, and then uh, I'm just gonna. Based off of those, I would say that the Oklahoma City Thunder win their first round. The Clippers versus Mavs, low key. Give me the Mavs. Mavs win that one. The Nuggets versus Pels. I'm taking the Nuggets. And then Timberwolves, Lakers. I'm taking the Timberwolves. So then it would be it would be OKC versus Mavericks. And then Nuggets versus Timberwolves. I would take the Nuggets against the Timberwolves. I would take... Low-key, 
I like the Mavericks as a dark horse. I'm taking the Mavs over the OKC. Um, that I think Luca. Luca's gonna have a hell of a, a a hell of a series. So then it would be Mavs versus Nuggets, and I'm going to take the Nuggets. I think the Nuggets would win. But if there is a team on here that I think could cause the Nuggets a lot of trouble, it is the Mavs. Um, I just think Luca is too damn good. He's gonna get to the spot every time, and you're not really gonna be able to stop him. So, but I have the Nuggets as the winners. So right now I have the Nuggets in the final. Then on the other side, Celtics versus the Heat. Yes, Celtics versus the Heat. I would take the Celtics. Cavs versus the Magic. I would take the Cavaliers. Knicks versus Pacers. I'm taking the Knicks. Bucks versus 76ers. Taking. Again, this just depends on Joel Embiid's knee and Giannis. Giannis is also hurt. So. But I think I, I'm going to go with, I'll go with the Bucks because they have Dame and Dame's more experienced than Tyrese Max. There you go. There's my rationale. Hate it or love it. Then it would be Celtics versus Cavs, Knicks versus Knicks versus, what did I just say? Knicks versus Bucks. He, Dude, I keep that bottom right there. I just keep forgetting it. So then we would take the um, Celtics and we would take the, or give me the Knicks. Give me the Knicks. Celtics and Knicks. And then I would have the Celtics beating the Knicks. So my finals is boring and it's the Nuggets versus Celtics, which is what everybody else is predicting. Anywho, there's my prediction. Let's get back into like actually doing some 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 things that need to happen for everything to go correctly. Here we go. This is off Real GM came out today. Um, we're just gonna skip all the way down to we're on the west right now. We're gonna skip all the way down to the uh okay the Pelicans and then work our way down. Every other team. Whatever. Um, actually, I'll just read the whole thing. Oklahoma City Thunder, number one seed with win over Mavericks combined with win by Nuggets or win combined by lost by Wolves. So see, this is why I didn't want to read it because it's confusing. We're going to skip over the top three. Top three is OKC, Timberwolves, Nuggets. They can't. They're just going to fluctuate. Everyone gets one, gets one, two, two, three, three. But the Clippers are locked in at four. Mavericks are locked in at five. Pelicans, they're the number six seed with the win over the Lakers or loss combined with loss by Suns to Wolves. Number seven seed with loss combined by win or with loss combined with win by Suns. So Pelicans can remain the six seed if they beat the Lakers and the Suns lose to the Wolves. If they lose to the Lakers and the Suns beat the Wolves, they fall to the seven seed. The Phoenix. God dang it. Got a message. Sorry. Phoenix Suns. Their number six seed with win over the Wolves combined with the loss by the Pelicans to the Lakers. So if they beat the Wolves and the Pelicans lose to the Lakers, they're the six seed. Number seven seed, if they lose uh loss or number seven seed with loss or win by Pelicans. There you go. All right, Lakers. They're the number eight seed with a win over the Pelicans if they beat the Pelicans and or a loss combined with a loss by Kings and Warriors. So they're the eighth seed if they beat the Pelicans or they're the eighth seed if they lose and the Kings and the Warriors also lose. Bro, this is a lot. Um, the, they're the ninth seed with a loss combined with a loss by the Kings and the Warriors win. So they're the ninth seed if they lose and the Kings lose and the Warriors win, or if the Warriors lose and the Kings win. Bro, this if you're not following along, I apologize. But I don't know how else I could put it into words. Uh number 10 seed, they are the 10 seed if they lose and the Warriors and the Kings both win their games. Okay. The Kings 
are the eighth seed, the win over the Blazers, combined with the loss by the Lakers. They're the ninth seed with a win over the Blazers, combined with the win by the Lakers, or loss combined with loss by Warriors. So they're the ninth seed if the Blazer if they beat the Blazers and the Lakers win, or they're the ninth seed if they lose and the Warriors lose. They're the tenth seed if they lose to the Blazers and the Warriors win. The Warriors, they're the eighth seed with win over the Jazz combined with losses by Kings and Lakers. So we win our game, Kings and the Lakers lose for the eighth seed. For the ninth seed, if we win um, and the Kings lose or we win and the Lakers lose, for the tenth seed, if we lose or with with the win combined with the win by the nut with the with the win by the Kings. This is crazy. It's beat it's beating me up, man. It's beating me up. Hopefully you got all that. If you didn't, I recommend going to I recommend going to Google, typing in real GM. And it'll be the first article. And then the second article underneath that one is the exact same thing, but for the East. Here we go again. The Celtics locked in at number one. The Bucks, Knicks, Cavs, Magic, Pacers. Okay, all right. I'm not going to lie. The East has so many moving parts. I am not reading all this. I'm not reading all this. I can't do it because uh, the Bucks, the Bucks can be the two seed, the three seed, or the four seed. The Knicks can be the two seed, three seed, or the four seed. The Cavs can be the two seed, three seed, or the four seed. There's your fluctuation. The, the Cavs, Knicks, Bucks are locked in at two, three, and four. Whatever combination you think will happen, there you go. Then we go to the Magic. The Magic can be the five seed, six seed, seventh seed, or the eighth seed that they need to play. Hard basketball. Bang. Magic can be Magic have a range. Five, six, seven, eight. Pacers have a range. Five, six, seven, eight. Seventy sixers have a range. Five, six, seven, eight. The Heat have a range of five, six, seven, eight. So with that being said, that means that the Magic Pacers, 76ers, and the Heat can all fluctuate from five to eight means our bet that we made earlier might not be that great of a bet because that means that those four teams are coming to play, right? So honestly, after we finish this, I might go over it again with our 90 cents just to see what I would do different. Here you go. Um, and then the Bulls are locked in at nine and the Hawks are locked in at... Uh, says the Bulls clinch the nine seed and the Hawks clinch the nine seed. I think that's a typo. Uh, hire me, but it should be Bulls at nine, the Hawks at ten. So there you go. There you go. That's that's your playoff picture. I was not reading it like I was reading the Western one because me personally, if I was listening to myself. I don't know if I would have been following along. I would have been like, "What the hell is this guy talking about?" But Again, if you want to look at it, go to Real GM, type it in on Google, click on it. First two articles as of right now. So that being said, we're going to go back over our one dollar bankroll or our home run dinger play, whatever. And then we're going to uh with the research that we have now, we're gonna see what I would do different. So the Hawks are locked in whether they lose or not. So the Pacers are coming to play. So I would take the Pacers. The Nets, 76ers. Let me click back on this. Nets. Where were the Nets? Oh, yeah. The Nets aren't making. So the 76ers have to come to play. 76ers. Uh, the Hornets, Cavs. The Hornets definitely aren't on here, but the Cavs. Cavs are coming to play. Okay, 
Um, the Bulls, Knicks. The Bulls are locked in. The Knicks are coming to play. The Bucks, Magic. Low key, I think Giannis doesn't play. I think they just roll with what they get because they're locked in at the two, three, four seed regardless. Um, so there's no point in like re-aggravating Giannis's leg. So then would I trust Dame to beat the Magic? I don't know, man. Magic have had a hell of a season. But I think I go with the Bucks. I think I go with Dame. Unless for some reason they rest Dame. And I'm gonna take the Magic. How bad do the Magic need it? The Magic actually need it extremely bad. So I think they're going to, I think Jalen Suggs is going to lock in on defense. I think the team is going to lock in on Jalen Suggs, uh, the whole team. The Raptors heat. The heat need it. They're, they're here to play. I'm, I was not familiar with your game. Um, the Wizards Celtics. And the Wizards locked in at one. I mean, imagine. The Celtics are locked in at one. So why would they even risk playing their guys? You know, maybe they do play them for, like, half the game. That way they don't get fined or whatever. Or maybe they eat the fine. Whatever. Taking the Wizards, still. The Mavericks, Thunder. The okay. Go over to the uh, Western one. Mavericks, Thunder. The Thunder, I mean, the Mavericks are locked in. Thunder need to win. The, like they have stuff if they win the Mavericks if they win or lose doesn't matter they're still at five um so based off of that but I just think Luca's too damn actually they'd probably rest same logic as the Celtics they're locked in they can't go anywhere I risk it you take Thunder Pistons Spurs doesn't matter at all this and Spurs does not matter at all, actually. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to skip over that one because no point. Rockets, Clippers, Clippers, Rockets, Rockets. Why are the Rockets favorite? Oh, the Clip, yeah, Clippers aren't playing. So, again, like, what if, what if, uh, no, Bones Highland goes up there and has another 40-point game. My bad. Uh, one of these rednecks were driving past my house, banging music. I was trying to see if my microphone would pick it up because it used to pick it up. So, I don't know. Anyways, I'm skipping the Rockets Clippers because I'm sure that the Clippers would sit players, but the Clippers also have good players on their team. Bones Highland, I'm pretty sure he already dubbed the Rockets. The Lakers, oh, that was the Suns, my bad. The Lakers, Pelicans. Okay, this one's interesting, right? So Lakers need to, they're, they're trying to get the eight seed. The Pelicans are trying to get the six seed so they don't have to play in the play. So. So, I think, oh, I don't know. I think Herb Jones is going to lock in. We're going with the Pelicans. We're riding with the Pelicans. Um, no second thought. Suns, Timberwolves. Uh, Timberwolves, aren't they? They're battling for that. But the Suns are also battling for six and seven. I'm taking the Timberwolves. The... Trailblazers, Kings, uh, taking the Kings. Yeah, taking the Kings. That sucks, bro. Warriors need Kings to lose, and they're playing the worst team in the West. So it's looking like just spitting out loud here. Sorry, but realizing as a Warriors fan where we could be. Uh, if. What I said is true, and Pelicans do lock in. Could be the ninth, but I really wanted that eighth, and I wanted that eighth seed because 
then we only have to play one game, right? I have to play two. I mean, we, yeah, like we have the potential of playing one game. So if we played the king, or I mean, if we got the eight seed, then we played whoever. Whatever, you get it. He's Louise. He's Louise. Anyways, um, Kings win. Warriors are still beating the Jazz. The Hawks, Bulls, um, Hawks, Bulls. They're both locked in. Oh, wait, that's that is their playing game. Never mind. Forget I said. That. So with that, that's a twelve leg parlay. Ninety cents for twenty five dollars and seventy three cents. Uh, and again, it was the the Pacers, Seventy Sixers, Cavaliers. Knicks, Magic, Heat, Wizards, Thunder, Pelicans, Timberwolves, Kings, Warriors. There's your total, totality, $1 bankroll. $0.10 cents on a home run play, $0.90 cents on play after a little bit of research. Uh, other than that, oh, I do have some outside news, actually. Uh, I started uploading on my, my old YouTube channel. Um, I can link it in the description if you like, but I'm doing a series where I created this player, uh, created this player, he's gonna start out in high school. He's a six foot one shooting guard, and um, you know, he's gonna he's gonna play four years in high school. He's gonna go to college, and depending on how well he does in college, um, he will like if he does really good his first season, he declare. If I think man, he needs to come back. Play a second season, does really good, declare. He's a four-time student or a four-year student, whatever. Um, then we get to the NBA. The goal in the NBA is to win a championship. After we win our first championship, then we will um he will simulate the rest of his career to see what stats he gets like that. But the goal is the first video I dropped is called the creation. Uh, it's creating a guy, um, and I used a random number generator to get all of his stats. So um, if you're interested in that, you can go watch the video. I didn't realize it as I was recording, but I had the random number generator thing up there in the top right. It's really small, but you can't really see numbers. I apologize for that, but I, I got every number right. You can still see the stats that I ended up with. Uh, the guy's a 68 overall, so got some work to do. But the game plan is uh, I'm probably going to record a video right after this. So always get on later, play R6. But I'm probably going to record a video right after this, me playing his first game in high school. And my game plan is to play a game, record it, Maybe play some more. I don't know. I play more than one, but after every game, he gets plus one attribute boost. So I can put it towards whatever I want. Then uh, he has milestone. So let's say I score 30 points in a game, he can get plus five attributes. If they win the game, he gets plus two. If he loses, he only gets one, stuff like that. So that's how we're going to. progress his career anyways um so if you're interested in that you can uh the videos are going to be like that and then after the series is done i'm going to try to combine a bunch of clips and try to make it like a kind of like a like a 30 for 30 except it's about virtual character anyways i'll link that below if you're interested that's about it that's all i got um today's saturday i could have a video up actually no i will not Next Wednesday, the 17th. Actually, what time is that game? Because depending on what time the Bulls and Hawks play, I could probably have a video up. Just to, just, okay, not showing me. Not showing me. Yeah, okay. Anyways, if what... Cliff was saying it's true because the ESPN app doesn't show that they play on the 17th. If they do play on the 17th, I can record a video, but it'll be a late video. So you wouldn't get a dollar bankroll or anything like that. You would get like my reaction to who wins the game games. There's multiple on. 
Um, that's that's it. Wednesday you'd get a video. That Saturday you're for sure not getting a video because uh Saturday the twentieth when I get married. Woo. Um. Yeah. So not getting a video that day. The day after, maybe if I'm not not doing anything, I might record a video. A Sunday drop, maybe no promises. But then that Wednesday, I can make a video. And I've already went over this in the last video. If you want to hear the schedule? You can go to that. Uh, I'm done here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Listen, like, subscribe, leave a comment on who you think is going to win the finals. Who you think is going to win the finals? Drop it in the comments. And, uh, yeah.